Hey everybody, this is Game Freak <coughs> 10124, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. The only thing I did off screen was fly to Slateport for the Hyper Rank Pokemon contest. So now let's go inside immediately. Talk to these people. Yeah, I already figured that out, but thanks for the info. Stop walking away from me, girl. Seriously. Do do do. Well, anyway, let's dive right into the Pokemon contests. Real quickly here, just to see what it is. Let's see what this is over here. Cool contest, Pelipper. I don't think that's one we'll see here. But yeah. Beauty. Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> Hyper Rank Pokemon Beauty. Hyper Rank, yeah, Hyper Rank Pokemon Beauty Contest. Felicia's Eropam. Camera upped. Kind of a dis this year, kind of m me rail. Anyway, kind of the, a similar naming theme is what Stadium Games had for Trainers Pokemon. Carlos won't be. Just got rid of the R. That's kind of lame. And then Rockhawk. Wonder if that Wombra is a lot like that Wout had. I could, or it could be wrong, but I want to say it has Rain Dance and Water Pulse like the other one did, but... I can't be wrong! Also, if you guys noticed, I think it was Blaziken, my Blaziken Rockhawk only got 5 hearts this time. So apparently the thing's beauty wasn't maxed out all the way to full like I thought it was at first. Which is weird because I'd given it Poke Blocks and it, like, Beauty Poke Blocks when it wasn't completely maxed out yet and its beauty didn't appear to move any further over at all on the condition menu of the Pokemon, or of the screens is the same as the Pokemon app when you go to check your Pokemon's condition, which I don't, didn't get that, quite get that at all. Kind of weird, but whatever. I'm gonna start as I usually do with bulk up. Uh. Yeah, well, we use rest. Hmm. You stupid camera opt. Of course, Wilmer dodges it because it did what it did. Stupid freaking camera up using hyper beam. Oh, I thought Hyper Beam was uh, tough. I guess it's not. Fire Punch. May my uh, improved condition allow me to not freaking get nervous from that stupid move. Come on, Warhawk. Okay, good. If not for that, I probably would have been, uh, probably would have been una unable to move. Uh, one of the reasons why bulk up is very handy, besides just the increased, uh, appeal for moves. And also, I guess I'll mention this. The reason why he, he has the exclamation point that says, look at your Pokemon expectedly, when I, uh, Use fire punch is that if you use fire any one of the three elemental punching moves, fire, thunder, and ice punch, and then use another one of them, uh, a different one after that, it'll be an appeal combo as well. Let's see here. Yeah, bulk up again. Freaking repeat move. I better not get made to be nervous from a stupid repeat move. No less. Come on. Okay, good. Twice in a row, we all became nervous. 
Well, at least that Lomer is ruining, ruining its own appeals and Whalmer's appeal, so I have less competition. Plus, Lomer is getting hurt even more. This is what you get for being stupid and doing repeat appeals, Carla. You're an idiot. Tch. I'm dominating this contest, which is kind of awesome. But hey, I can't, I can't complain that Carla was dumb and used a track because it kept that Wilmer from doing something. I don't know what it was going for, but it was apparently something. Something that would benefit it a lot or screw something else, one or more of us, over. Us meaning me and the guy, other two in the contest besides the person with the Wilmer. See here. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been made to be nervous. Oh, why am I even debating that? Sunny day is the obvious choice. What am I thinking? I am kind of tired right now, so. That freaking camera up better not do with the long where he just did and freaking repeat earthquake. What does that do? That one what does based on how much appeal they got. Okay, it is. Either that or it's just three. Either way, it's not that bad. Also, stupid earthquake Fisher combo. You stupid Wombray, I hate you. Oh, I hate you. I freaking got one of my appeal combo. Stupid Wombray. At least I still have my uh, stars for my uh, condition. Or not condition. Oh, yeah, that's condition. Also, that freak. Wait, what? Oh, I guess Arthur is one of those moves that does more if it's. Um. Further behind? I don't know. Well, I may have lost my appeal combo, which is kind of annoying, but at least I'm going to get the crowd going. Guaranteed that Camera Oak will use Earthquake. So if she would use Fire Move, she'd be okay. She keeps going for a tough move. Oh, she went for Overheat. Also, if I knew that Lomer was going to use Flash last turn, I would have gone for Bulk Up again instead. Oh well. I should still be able to win this. With all them hearts. I commanded total attention. There's no way I didn't win that. Glad well, that Lomer kept using your track and making the Whelmer nervous. That definitely eliminated some of the competition. That and the fact that it got the uh, Lomer got hurt by the camera up on the one turn of an earthquake. I think it looks like Wilmer did a little bit better than me, or I did a little bit better than it in the first round. Either way, I won. Yay, Rockhawk won. <clears throat> Speed up those people looking all around the room. Ribbon. Oh, also, I was going to do, be doing something I completely slipped my mind. I'm glad I thought of it. But yeah. You can go to ribbons through the Pokemon Pokenav or Pokemon Navigator for long. And yeah, I want to show this thing the uh, ribbons off. It got one for being a Hall of Fame. There's a normal rank for beauty, super rank for beauty, and the one I just earned hyper rank for beauty. Anyway, <clears throat> I do that and there.
Now it's time to go over the location of the Lamasterate Contest is, which a couple videos ago I showed where it is at to show off the best place for berry blending, which is of course Lily Cove. Before I go to the contest hall, there is one, some are also want to go first. I have not shown this off at all until now. The Lily Cove Museum. I don't have to, but I'll show off all the text of these people here. It's a painting of a beautiful smiling woman with a Pokemon on her lap. Grass Pokemon is swaying in the breeze. What's this thingy? A huge stone tablet inscribed with Pokemon and dense text in the small characters of an ancient, unreadable language. Maybe that's Braille. Pokeball carved with a black stone. Hmm. It's a replica of a famous sculpture. It depicts an ancient bird Pokemon. That kind of looks like Articuno. It's hard to tell for sure, 100% for sure, because it's all pixely because of third gen graphics, but oh well. An island landscape with bizarre and fantastic scenery. A delicious looking painting of berries. This painting could make you hungry. <laughs> oh, nice. The painting is very old. Old, it's a very old painting. The paint is peeling here and there and everywhere. It's a very old painting. The paint is really same thing. That looks like a bomb or an orange berry. That looks like a cherry berry. I was not do this. Om nom nom nom. Anyway, being random aside, what's this? It's a painting of a legendary Pokemon from long, long ago. The artist had painted this from imagination. Anyway, oh wait, I didn't read all the NPCs' text though. Well, show them off anyway. I'm not going to read them all out loud. Eh, whatever. But the main reason I came here is to talk to this guy. I'm the curator of this museum of five arts. It's heartening to see someone so young as you in the museum. Have you reviewed our creation of paintings already? Saw it. Oh, I do believe that you seem to be a Pokemon trainer. Have you rendered here to paintings too? Yes. Oh, excellent. You do like paintings. Then may I ask you to come with me? This is our central exhibit hall. As you can plainly see, there is not a single painting on exhibit. Here I don't wish to exhibit works of so-called classical art. Such classical works you can see on our ground floor. I wish to exhibit the work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not restricted to old famous works. This exhibit hall I wish to fool with modern and vibrant arts of Pokemon, seemingly ready to spring forth into glorious life. I beg your pardon? I didn't intend to monopolize the conversation. Now, as you are young and yet obviously well traveled, you must encounter lively Pokemon and work of art depicting them. If you were to come across such a painting, may we ask you to obtain the artist's permission to exhibit it here? Yes. And then he just keeps saying, I wish to fill the, this exhibit hall with the modern and vibrant paintings of Pokemon. Hmm, I wonder how I could have possibly accomplished that. Well, anyway. It's time to do the main thing now and go to the uh, contest hall. I'll show off your text. Let's bike because I can. Bike instead of speed up randomly. Anyway. Now let's do the master rank contest. Whoop, I didn't mean to speed up. Oh well. That's what I get. We're not paying attention. Rock Hawk. It's time for Rock Hawk to shine in the master rank. The Ma master rank Pokemon beauty contest. Rose's cat ed. Duck Hattie. 
Sasha's Ron like electrode. Mara's Terria. Altaria. Good taste in Pokemon. And then of course my Rock Hawk. Let's rock the Master Rank. Also, as you guys can see there, Blazing In didn't get any hearts. Which means it's going to get the lowest in the first round. So I can't get screwed over too much. I've had a lot more flexibility in the last three as opposed to this one being screwed over. I get screwed over too much here and I'll have to do it over. And as per usual, start off with bulk up. This El Caddy does nothing but use moves that are not good in this contest. It shouldn't even be here. Well, I think there might have one move that's, that doesn't excite the appeal but doesn't hurt it either. Terra Mayra is very, very intelligent. She goes for stuff the race condition like I do. <clears throat> Beauty. And then of course fire punch again. Yeah, let's try to use white screen. Electro gets it up, Del Caddy will bring it down. Or maybe not. For the love of God, please be able to make it through it, Rock Hawk. Ah! Stupid Del Caddy! At least Altari became nervous too. I think this is a turn in between, but using bulk up won't count as a repeat appeal. No, good. Anyway. <clears throat> Breaking Del Caddy using a track. Maybe now I won't be so su susceptible to it with two n things. Mayor is probably going for the exact same thing. Well, good news is I heard that Del Caddy and Electrode. Bad news is it's hurting me. At least all t uh, what, these kind of, what kind of makes up for that is Altaria can't appeal on the next turn. However, Electrode is doing the best, so I may get screwed over here. But maybe not. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what that stupid duck egg is going to go for, so hopefully my bulk ups will help prevent that from happening. Yep, I figured. Now that you're up to two for your con improved condition, Rockhawk, please be able to make it through this, you would crap this time. Okay, good. If not for that, I probably would have got uh, made to be nervous again. Sunny day. If I can overcome that electrode, I can get the freaking thing off on the last turn. Nope. So, thankfully, I think uh, its only beauty move is light screen, so I may still be able to pull off the uh, best appeal. I'm pretty sure explosion is not beauty. I hope to God it's not. Ah, oh, why? Stupid electrode! It totally just won this contest.
Yeah, it's not gonna matter. I just lost. Stupid freaking Electro. That's a bunch of bull crap. No one wants to beat up like this, but there's no way in heck I could win. Stupid freaking Electrode. Well, let's go for the beauty contest again. Helen's Bobbet. Boba Fett. Mayor's Terrier again. Rose is tatted. Good, that stupid effing Electro isn't here. Freaking thing. I could have won a war with that stupid explosion. But again, thinking back on it, I probably still wouldn't have because I was in last for that last one. But still, just the fact that stupid. Well, I might have been able to. I don't know. It's hard to say for sure, but either way, stupid freaking electrode. I didn't know explosion with beauty. Yeah, skipping this crap now. Well, I guess it is kind of good that I showed off one failure. Thank you for running fan, for fan attack instead of attract, Duck Hatty. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about that wobble that hurting me at all. Because, yeah, Miracle Counter, Destiny Bond, and uh, Safeguard. So it's not going to do anything to damage at all. Thing about how my biggest worry this time around is that Delcaddy's attract. Let's see here. This is going to be, this is going to be just. What the? Okay, then repeat appeal. Thank you for not using a tract. Can't complain about that. I can call you stupid, but I can't complain. Hmm. <laughs> well, if it's going to use for counter or safeguard, rather, go for it. Fire punch. Good news is that thing won't be able to move on the next turn. Sadly, I'll be knocked on to how much hearts Wobbuffet it has, but it's okay. Because between this turn and the next turn, I'll still be having, I should still be having the majority of the hearts. Which is kind of sad considering my next move will be bulk up. Right, that Delcaddy doesn't ruin it. Now that I think of it. Rockhog, please be able to manage to avoid it. I know you got screwed before when you only had one, but please be able to manage to avoid it this time. Okay, good. I was expecting it to not be able to. That's either last time I just got unlucky or this time I just got lucky. Either way. Also, I'm going to get the appeal going. Nice. That might put me in first for the next attack. Turn, move. Not attack. We almost technically going to be an attack. Actually, no, it's not. Because it's going to be sunny day, of course. The reason you guys heard my voice a little bit better is because I reached forward to itch my leg, foot, something like that. Uh, sunny day. Sadly, it's not going to do jack for appeal, other than my condition being rose, but I don't care. I care more about the appeal on the next turn. Uh, in retrospect, I should have went for Sunny Day, then Bulka, but oh well. All of it does is avoid. It doesn't really do too much for appeal, which is good. The only time it can even get anything good off is when it just so happens to be the one to get the crowd going. Uh, the Altar is totally going to go for Hyper Beam again. Yep, but again, that's fine. It's gonna hurt the Delcaddy. It won't be able to move for the final turn, and Wobbuffet isn't doing hardly anything in the contest at all, so that's perfectly fine. I 
I failed this down at all, but the Altari can't do anything. Fire Punch. Boom. And the appeal combo, and one more for exciting the crowd. And no one else can, uh, or no one can get the crowd going. Uh. Oh wait, what am I worried about? Altaria is the one that is closest to me, not the Lava Fest. I, I really hope to God the first round doesn't screw me, because if the Lava wins because of the first round, I'm going to be royally PO'd. Pulse Finding Proclamation of the Wonder. Please, for the love of God, tell me I didn't lose because of the first round. I'll be so mad if I did. I don't like how that wild fit has more than half from it that's freaking first round. Oh come on, really? The first round screwed me, that's a bunch of ball. Stupid wild fat. Mmm. I could just speed up it up and record it on screen and have music over it and have you guys watch it because I don't want off screen either way and then come back but it'd be maybe about half a minute at most minute for a successful attempt I don't know I'm debating on what I want to do I might do that if I fail one more time that's so stupid I could have totally won that freaking Waba Fett all because of the preliminary round What's the boy have? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a Pichu that enters the master rank. I'm mad I lost that uh, stupid Bob of it last time, but I'm so glad I did at the same time because I had to show off the Pichu. Wow. Gotta love it. Pichu in a master rank. Rock Hawk. Yeah, just speeding all this crap up. I'll speed up everything except for the actual appeals. Sweet scent. Yeah, whatever, your beauty went over great. Uh, don't you dare, you stupid Pichu. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, then bulk up. Fire punch. Also, oh, Chubby. It's Chubby. The only reason I'm glad I lost those two first two tries at this master rank is because I got to show off the freaking Pichu in the Pokemon contest master rank. That alone is worth it, in my opinion. Uh, crap. Oh, Sunspore. Well, the smartness didn't go over well here. Sadly, it's gonna only affect me, but oh well. Do 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 do. Come on, put me second. Put me second. Third. <sighs> Darn it! That wobble, that freaking Bible is totally gonna get the crowd going. Isn't that lovely? I'm not gonna go for a sunny day. Wait a minute. That's gonna make the peel hurt. Oh, toughness. I thought Connor was cool. Oh, well. It does make sense that, that it's tough because it counter attacks. Like, it count, uh, takes a physical attack and do does double the damage back. But still. Oh. Well, yeah, it's a during a hit and then uh, paying back double damage. So, yeah, it makes sense that it's tough. Then, now that I think of that. But yeah. 
tail whip. I will be incredibly upset if I lose that Pichu. Oh crap. For the love of God, would your condition be able to avoid that Warhawk? Yes! Now I'm gonna get the crowd going on sunny day. Excellent sunny day. Awesome. Ah, clicking outside the window. Anyway, I very much need this. Ah, crap. Never mind. Sweet kiss was cute, not beauty. That means the stupid Wobbuffet's gonna get it. Unless it doesn't use Miracle, which I'm, or Safeguard, which I'm sure it will use one of them. It wouldn't use Destiny Bond yet. Ugh. I swear to God, if I lose that stupid Wobbuffet twice in a row. I probably will now, stupid Vile Plume. I need that Pichu to spark the freaking wobble fan in the next turn. Yeah, I'll peel combo, I don't even care. I'm totally gonna lose that stupid wobble of it a second time in a row. Watch. Yeah, I go for fire punch. Yeah, I'll peel combo and then beauty for going great. Rest. I lost with the freaking Wobbuffet without the freaking final round. Seriously, that stupid Wobbuffet, though. I hate you, you piece of crap. I don't know what music I'm going to have you playing, guys, but that's the third failed temp in, attempt in a row, and I'm not going to keep showing failed att attempts, so I will show my success, my actual successful attempt, the entirety of it, sped up with music, but, uh, video game music, that is, but I'm not going to keep showing failed, att showing failed attempts, so I'll be back in just a second with music over, uh, like, video game music over my successful attempt and no commentary until after the successful attempt. Uh, see, so, uh, once I can finally do that, I'll see you guys in just a second. <laughs> Ah, that's so freaking troll. My very next attempt, the fourth one, the one I did immediately after my third fail attempt, is the one I freaking get a successful win. Yaw, wasn't that freaking lovely and annoying. Anyway, with that freaking rage aside, I'm back, guys. <sighs> so freaking retarded. Anyway, I would have shown back up in the contest hall, but 
there's a reason for that, other than wanting to be talking while I show off me hitting the ribbon. Okay, I had to click outside the window temporarily there for a second. I won't read his text, because I can't think of a voice right now. I'll just talk my normal voice for the rest of this. That's what I should have been doing, but oh well. Well, your Pokemon's appeals were so fantastic, it spurred me into painting better than I usually do. Look, see? What do you think? I'm confident in what I've done, but do you like it? A work of this caliber, it wouldn't look out of place in an art museum. Huh? An art museum really is looking for paintings? Do you think I should take this there? Yes. What, really? Then sure, I will take this painting there right now. I'll give it a proper title, too. I hope they'll like it and consider exhibiting this. Please check if they did accept this. Thank you. Exclamation point. Oh, that's right. It's a memento of me painting your Pokemon. Please take this. I received a ribbon. And I put it on Rock Hawk. Okay, see you. Let's check that out with the Pokenav. Ribbons. I showed off previously, you got normal rank, super rank, and hyper rank. Here's the glorious master rank beauty contest. And then this ribbon one. Ribbon for being chosen as a super sketch model. So I got a ribbon because that guy painted, or did a, a fancier painting than usual of him, basically. There's that stupid effing Wobbuffet that beat me twice. Piece of crap thing. You erase those Wobbuffets off the wall right now. I'll give you 10,000 Poke Dollars to do so. And then my awesome one, Brockhawk won. Uh. I have a thing in my mind and I have to say it now. Random reference time! Yes! Luigi won! <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, I just had to say it. I am being very random right now, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Let's check out the museum. I didn't even say where I was going. I'm loopy. That's because I need sleep though. I have a, have a famous sculpture it depicts an ancient bird Pokemon. And this one over here says the exact same thing. For some reason at Cerebi these are listed underneath the items for secret bases, but I don't see how you were how you could get one of them. Uh, I think they're just kinda here. I think they it was under the ornaments uh list, but listing but anyway. There's a thing over there, but first let's talk to the curator. Thanks to you, we've got another new painting to our collection. I've heard it depicts your Pokemon. Truly magnificent. Thank you so very, very much. No problem. Again, you don't really get any more work for doing this at all, but I still really wanted to show it off. This is stuff I've done in the past, and I can't remember if it was Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald. I'm not sure which. But, yeah, in the past I've done Pokemon contests, and other like my uh, actual cartridges so yeah it's a painting of a Pokemon Pokemon centers <laughs> okay then well I'll get to something in a second but first I'll read that Pokemon centers super idle to inc incomparable Rockhawk interesting <laughs> but anyway I will be I will be reloading the save state back again guys but in case the thing was different I uh, I did something, and I want to show this off, but before I do anything else, I guess I'll get to what I'm talking about. Off screen, I did off, like, prior to recording even the last episode, previous episode, whatever, I, uh, off screen doing the normal super, hyper, and, uh, master rank contests, and came here, or whatever, I had even gotten the painting on here, so I could figure out how you're supposed to do it in something, and I did figure it out without having to look it up on Cerebi, thankfully, but that had different texts for my Blaziken that in other painting than what it does now, and I think it might maybe even had a different background, too, so 
I'm going to re I made a safety of it just in case this happened, and I'm going to reload it now to sh uh, show off what it uh, what it says and to see if it, the picture is different or not. But like because you, because you can see the background is not stars and rain a rainbow. But anyway, here's the alternate save state that I did when I did that. Okay, still got the rainbow back background, but this one says Rockhawk's dazzling glittering smile. I'm not sure what determines uh, what text you get for the Pokemon, but maybe it's just kind of semi-random. I don't know how it works, but I did want to show off that the text could be different if that ended up being the case, and it just so happened to be the case. I find it very interesting. Tuh. And I didn't know that either, so I'm learning along with you guys that what I'm showing off and stuffs. <clears throat> But yeah. Well, there's not too much left to do in the game now, guys. I've showed uh, pretty much the extent of what there, uh, the most interesting and important things there is about post-game. So you may be wondering what else I have left to show off. Well, there is one more thing. I don't have to show it off, but I most definitely want to. I'll be getting a little more into depth into it. Uh, in a second here, but first, oh crap! Well, very first, I want to first take the amulet coin off Shiftry. Let me see here. I also want to put my Pokemon in the order when I caught them in the game. There. Oh yeah, and also make a save state. But yeah. <clears throat> I do want to show off my Pokemon team one time because I guess I'll just cut to the chase right now about what I'll be doing next, and and I will. I'm not actually going to be closing that episode off quite yet, but in the next episode I will be going through the Elite Four and see even one more time. I mentioned this before, but I will not be using my main team like I also said before. I think in the video after I'd beaten Steven. But I would rather I will be using these legendaries I've caught in the game. The three Regis, Regis Steel, Rock, and Ice. Uh, Groudon, Latios, and Urquaza. But yeah, before I end off the episode, I want to show off uh, my Pokemon one last time. Their moves and everything. And their stats and give them one last bit of glory because this will be the last time you guys see them in this let's play. Blaziken, my awesome, very awesome rock hawk. Sunny day for Pokemon contests. Had brick break for most of it since I got into Topless. Earthquake, Fire Punch, and Bulk Up. Got decent defense stats for what it is. Got pretty good speed stat. HP stats okay. And those attack stats are very powerful. My adamant shift read, otherwise known as Makar. Whoops. Really good attack stat, decent special attack and speed stat. And the awesome moves of Faint Attack, Rock Tomb, which had a tendency to miss in the Let's Play, Giga Drain, and then my Psychic Hidden Power. Aquamentus, my very awesome t timid main archer. I was still so uh, happy that I managed to get timid nature when I got this thing. Uh, this and that and Modest are the best nature sport. That special attack and spear I Just real quickly here. Yeah, main is my fastest Pokemon. Thunderbolt, Facade, Bite, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave definitely did be quite a bit of good in the game. Facade was just only on there for the Pokemon contest, but oh well. Then there's Pitch the Altaria, the awesome thing that, uh, that's a Pokemon that's getting a Mega Evolution in the remakes. Careful Nature, a large special attack, which isn't that great for its Dragon attacks, but it's good for it because it makes its special defense more bulky. Look at those defenses and that decent speed. Dragon is Dimmy Ball too. And then there's I Rock, my Solar Rock. Yeah, pretty decent speed. Special attack and special defense suck, uh, but it's okay. And the special defense is actually semi decent. And pretty good defense and attack. 
I'm very glad I decided to use this thing because it's very underused. It hardly gets any love, and it is an awesome Pokemon for an in-game playthrough, as I've so demonstrated. Oh yeah, also this thing had Iron Tail and Dragon Claw on it. Want to make sure I show off all the moves? Do do do. Rock slide. Uh, clicking outside the window again. <laughs> Rock slide, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Overheat. And last but not least, Doku, my Whiskash. The thing looks der looks derpy, but this thing did me very damn well. Uh, HP count is really high. Uh, other than speed, decent stats all across the board. And the fact that it gets Earthquake at level 31 and is a barb, which if you hold off on evolving at one level, is so freaking awesome. And again, Whiskash is another one of those Pokemon that doesn't get too much love. And like I said before, it may look derpy, but this thing served me very well. Getting Earthquake so early on is awesome. But anyway, now that I've done that, I didn't need to, but I kind of wanted to, to give them their last minutes of glory, because this is the last time you guys will see them in this Let's Play. And now, I will end this. I won't, I won't close off my, with my final words of this episode just yet, but I will. This is the last thing I'll do in the episode, which is get my legendaries out for the very last time, very last episode or episodes of the Let's Play. I have not yet decided if I'll have the next the next part will be two or three videos. I might. I, I'll either have all the Elite Four members in one video and Steven in his own, or. Uh, split the Elite Four members into two, and then Steven have be his own like I did for the end of the main game. I'll make that decision. Oh, I won't make that decision right away. I have a week to do it because uh, a weekend, f a week from when I'm recording this now is when I'll be finishing off the final parts of this let's play. And as a recap, in case you guys don't know, or I thought I mentioned it and didn't. What I'll be doing is going through the four one more time, like I said, and I will not be. I will probably start the episode off in commentary to uh, uh, say my name and or username anyway and stuff. But <clears throat> uh, after that, it will just be no commentary for however many videos until <clears throat> the uh, uh, end of after being Steven and it shows my legendary is getting registered to the Hall of Fame, I will stop the recording there and record and basically not completely close off the Let's Play, but uh, say some, some final things and then have the credits roll, but like have it just be the credit music and not my voice at all. <clears throat> and then uh, at the end screen I'll f officially close off the Let's Play. But anyway, <clears throat> now that I've mentioned all of that, uh, again, again, I'll be, so you guys can hear the music better, I will not, again, besides the beginning of the next episode, I will not be having any commentary, I'll only be recording the game audio, so you guys can hear the audio of the Elite Four members, or the music of the Elite Four members, and, uh, Steven's epic music, which is better, in my opinion, better than the Coliseum slash XD remix. Again, I like that music, but I still say the original is more epic. But yeah. That's so why I can let you guys hear that music in all its full glory. But anyway, I've said a lot of things. One last thing I'll do is show off my Pokemon, Legendary Pokemon's movesets. I'm pretty sure I won't be changing them. Actually, I kind of want to change them up a bit. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. This episode's been going on for, for kind of long as it is, but oh well. Yeah, Roger Rock will be okay, I think. Let me see here. If yeah, Vanilla Ice can't get really too much, can't really get too much else. Let me see here. <clears throat> Seal Wing, yeah, don't want that on Latios. Roger Steel gets Aerial Ace. Hmm. Well, so does Groudon. Sludge Bomb? Nope, no one. Psychic? No one but Latios. Let's 
Deteriorator. I want Hyper Beam on anybody. Hmm. I don't know. Well, there's not really anything else I want to put on Groudon, so... Well, Aerial Ace. I may regret this, but I'll be putting it on Groudon. Over Dig. Let's see here. What else? Yeah, again, Sludge Bomb doesn't hand me talk to anybody. Hmm. Hmm. Well, guys, I, well, I guess I'll put Hyper Beam on Regirock, and I will probably... Um, well, hmm, I kind of hate to get rid of... Well, let me see here. How am I on Luffa Berries? Yeah, I've got those, so yeah, that'll be fine then. I'll get rid of Rock Throw then for Hyper Beam. Anyway, guys, I've spent so much time already. Did not take up any, up any more of your guys' time and end this off because I've got to take care of some things. And, uh, and anyway, yeah, there, there's some things I have to take care of. I will actually end this episode off here. I'm sorry I had the end to go on a little bit longer than what I needed to, but anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby, and I'll see you guys next time for <clears throat> the final episodes of my Let's Play Pokemon Ruby, where I show off me going through the four and Steven one more time with all the legendaries I've caught in this Let's Play. So once again, this is Game Freak 10124. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.